Welcome back to Fairy Tale Annihilation. We didn't quite get to 50%, but my cat seriously was climbing on a bookshelf and about to knock a bunch of crap over, so good time to stop. I guess I can buy the upgraded hat thingy, but I don't really need it. And actually, the NPC is kind of overpowered because it lets me actually take a break and do stuff. But in that way, it's a lot like the uh, towers in Balloon in a Wasteland. Which, if I haven't recorded that game, I really should. That was a fun game. Hey, unicorns! Let's murder them. Oh, okay. He's not very good at killing unicorns. This is unfortunate. You know, you said in your resume that you were good at killing unicorns. I think you're full of crap, sir. Okay, you could probably use some better guns here. Let's... Actually, first things first. Let's upgrade the shit out of... Oh! Well, no more power for us. Um... Still don't really think I need help. Reload. Yeah, we kill stuff faster now, that's nice. Alright, but... Hmm. Do I want another soldier, or do I want better... Gun? Nah, I want more soldiers. Because I can fix stuff faster this way. The problem with that, just like in Balloon in a Wasteland, is if I get... better... passive defense, then I don't play as much of the game. I just sit here and defend stuff. Which... I mean, it ends. It just ends the game faster, and I don't get to kill as much stuff. But at the same time, I'm beating the game faster. Eh. I'm on the fence as to whether that's a good thing or not. But it's optional, so. Oh god! Shoot the thing that's about to murder me! For Pete's sake. Um. I don't know. It kind of bugs me in a way, but at the same time, it's good design because you know. I can just sit here and kill stuff forever if I want to, but at the same time I can go for high score too. Or high speed. Can I reload? Wait, here. There's no controls. Okay, I'm just gonna have to assume there's no reload button. Because R doesn't work. It's usually R. Money! I wish these guys would collect money. That would be awesome. So, at the moment, I'm thinking I'll get to, like, 95% repaired, and then try and max out all my guns and stuff. Because I bet it's going to get harder near the very end. Because that makes a lot of sense. And then I'll be able to enjoy, you know, all the good guns and stuff. But, ow, 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 ow. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy repairing my aircraft, which is so very, very fun. Some more movement. Aim. Sure. I guess I aim pretty damn accurate now, so I don't really need too much more aim. Oh, by the way, I got, um, I own a PS Vita now, I'm one of the ten people that do that, and I got, uh, Wipeout 2048, really good game. Um, I originally thought Uncharted would be the ideal game to test it out. Um, Uncharted, Golden Abyss, is a good, it's a great game marred by trying to use all of the PS Vita's features. So, like, it tries to make you use the rotation controls and the touch, and it just doesn't work quite right. It distracts an otherwise great game with some stupid mini-games and some stupid collection stuff, and it ruins what really could have been a really awesome game. Well, it's not ruined, but it's not great. I wouldn't pay... I'd the problem, my biggest problem with the PS Vita, it's got a bunch of good games that I'd pay 20 bucks for in a heartbeat, 
but I wouldn't really spend 40 bucks for, and they're all 40 bucks. Um, I would have bought, um, I would have bought Disgaea 3, but A, I prefer to play that on the big screen, and B, I bought that, like, three years ago, whenever it came out for PS3. Um, but Wipeout I managed to get for 24 bucks. Way, way worth it. Great game. Um, it's my favorite in the series since Wipeout, um, what the hell do they call it? Wipeout Fury, Wipeout HD, the one for PS3. But that one's really good. Um, I haven't seen all that Wipeout for PS Vita has to offer so far, but I will say it's a very, very good game. If you got a PS Vita, you really should get it. I don't like racing games, but I really like the Wipeout series, and it's a very good game, even for somebody that doesn't like racing games too much. You know, I can play them. If you totally hate um, racing games and you'll never ever play any of them, you know, maybe avoid it. But these freaking spinny disc things are dick bags. Um, but yeah, Wipeout's really fun. Especially with, um, with Wipeout Fury on PS3, the, um, get some health. The, um, I forget what you call it. The Eliminator game type. Very, very fun. You just have to kill all of the other, you know, all the other players. And it's very fun because you get to use, the, the weapons are very fun, but for the most part, um, you know, they're not totally vital to victory, but they're very fun to use, and Wipeout, or er, the Eliminator mode, makes it so you absolutely have to use the weapons, and you just kill all the other players, and it's very fun. And it's not related to this game at all. Hmm. Written by the Quicklets. We're gonna hold out for the green helm. Okay. Run. Problematic. It's starting to actually take damage all of a sudden. The frickin' giant lollipop thing is really jerks. <clears throat> yeah, let's get a green helm. I'm gonna try and fulfill my promise of getting to like 99% fixed and then just upgrade all my guns. But these freaking lollipops, I tell ya, these lollipops are jerks. Somewhere between 50% and this, the game finally decided it should actually be kind of hard, and it kind of works, because I'm sort of back to the beginning when I was constantly having to shoot stuff before I got my helper guys. But the difficulty curve's pretty well implemented, really. Because, you know, it gave me some time to figure out shooting stuff, buying stuff, and then... I got my helper, then I, you know, repaired like 50% like it was nothing, and then suddenly the lollipop assholes came out and just made the game actually difficult for once. So, this game is surprisingly good, surprisingly fun. You know, it's got pretty simple graphics, it's all on one level, so, you know, it's not super amazing material, but pretty damn good for a simple little game here. It sort of shows you don't need to, you know, make 18 billion enemy sprites to make a pretty good difficulty curve, I gotta say. 
Though I really don't like that it doesn't tell me when I can buy new stuff or can buy new skills, because I always forget that crap. And that's not just the Scotch speaking, mostly. I don't really need new aim. Get some more move speed here. Pretty sure if I were not inebriated, I would still forget to upgrade my crap because there's really no indication of when I need to do that. I said a tiny little notification I don't even see when I upgrade or when I level up. I need a new helper. I really do. Okay, I can buy a new helper now. Do I want Bailey or Patrick? Hmm, screw it, I want Bailey. Jump over all of this crap. Okay, I can see why I need jumps, jump height now. This stuff's actually starting to hurt. I'm starting to need to be able to jump over crap. How much do I need for Bailey? I think I need 160 or one 1,600. Starting, starting to get hurt. Not good. Really do not like these freaking lollipop assholes. Come on. Okay, 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 go ahead. Stop murdering me. Okay, Bailey, you better have an awesome ass gun. I can't really tell if you do, but you seem to, because stuff seems to be dying faster. Yeah, stuff's definitely dying faster. But you know what, we're gonna chill out. I bet after like 90 or 95 or something, it's gonna introduce some dick move new monster that's incredibly hard to kill. So we're gonna chill out and collect money for a bit here. Is that spawning stuff? Okay. So we're just gonna prepare for the dick move I'm sure the game's gonna pull. And honestly, if the game does not pull the dick move I'm expecting, I'm, uh, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Because the game should really diff it should ramp up at the very end for some, you know, pseudo final boss action. I need some health. I see a heart. I can't get to the heart. There we go. Okay, I'm concerned about my health here. Alright, skills. Skills. Max out my health. Good little jump height. Mostly reload speed. Don't think my aim is really a problem at all. You're trying to target the little X kill target icon there. So, random observation time. I played um, Mother 3 and. Um, that game is really good at pacing for an RPG, for the most part. It's still kind of grindy and all that, but I went to play Earthbound after finishing Mother 3, which is Earthbound 2, and I found it is the battle system, talking to people, everything is so slow. It's, it's an amazing game, and I recommend it, but... Everything in old RPGs is just so slow, it's just really bad. People complain about, you know, modern games, oh, they coddled you and they're easy and stuff, but the main thing is just crap moves faster and, you know, you can talk to people quicker and skip stuff, you can skip cutscenes and battles move faster. The problem with old RPGs is they just take ages, not because there's lots of content in the game, but because it's just freaking... After, um, I can't articulate this well, but the game just feels really slow, and I do I do not appreciate that. Um, we're gonna get to 90% quick here, and then we'll split a video if I can survive for like more than 18 seconds. Maybe I can't. So crap seems to be piling on faster, even though I'm not repairing the shit, the thing very disconcerting here. Let's max 
max out reload speed. Jump height for no real reason. See, look at this. This is not acceptable here. Honestly. It's just not. Um. That was my rant about old school RPGs. I like RPGs, but they need to be... You gotta be... There's certain crap you can't do crazy slow. Or I just get bored of it. I don't have time for that shit anymore. I've got a job. I've got not RPG things to do. Can't do that crap anymore. This... The difficulty group kind of got stupid here. Honestly. So I'm... Look at this, there's so much crap, it's slowing down the game. Um... Like, what the fuck? This kinda got a bit too much here, guys. Look at this shit! There's like 20 fucking thousand! I can't... Game over, what the fuck? What? <sighs> and I bet I start over at the be very beginning. What the fuck happened there? All of a sudden, like, 18 fucking thousand of the lollipops came, and you can't kill those. Worth a damn. And I had three helpers. I had okay guns. Um. I'm sorry, that was some bullshit. I, I think we're done playing this game. I think the I think the difficulty kept ramping up even though I wasn't repairing the helicopter. Which is kinda of BS, so I don't know, that's about all I have to say here. This could have been a really fun game, but the lollipops are a bit overpowered, take too much time to kill. And I don't know, I'll just let that speak for itself. That was bullshit. <laughs>